Here we are. We're going for our lag now. Okay. We got Hagen Doss. Her nickname versus, I believe that guy's name is David. Okay. Okay, so both, both lags are a little bit wild. So what I like to do for a lag is just aim just inwards a little bit. And you notice uh, the reason why um, Hagen Doss actually lost the lag was because you hit the, hit the side rail. And so this helps a little bit. If you just aim just slightly towards the center, you know, so that your cue ball, the, uh, not your cue ball, your lag ball, moves inwards instead of outwards towards the rail. All right. We're off to our first break. Um, and here we are. Boom. Okay. Um, I like to break more from the side. Maybe just behind the, the head string. Um, and, and right up next to the almost about the distance from where the one ball is from the rail and just give it like a small little pop and let the the corner ball off the rack drift into the corner pocket um but here we are um you can go this i mean really anyway you can go for the bank here you can play safe the bank i don't think is uh look at look at this we just got like a two-way shot of it out of it um, the thing is, when you play that bank, you want to make sure that you don't let the cue ball go that far, because then even if you were to make it, the two ball would be hooked. So you kind of have to choose which one you want to do, if you want to do the safe or if you want to do the, the bank. Okay. Okay. He kicked this way. I kind of like kicking over down here by the six ball, just missing the six ball, letting it come up behind the, the one ball from this side. Okay, now from here, um, with that two being in the center, the table, you can take the one ball and roll it all the way up, um, but you have to have great, great cue ball control to make sure you don't roll too far, and so, um, and we have to remember that the, the people playing are, are twos and threes, so we don't want to, we don't want to overwhelm with with too much cue ball control and so I think this is actually a great shot here okay oh no I think she just rushed it a little bit I think that's I think that's the best shot on the table right there you know for somebody of of their their skill level I think that's absolutely acceptable I think trying to run out from there would be very very hard and, and very difficult and I think it would have ended up with a 4-9 combination anyway it's just easier to just take it right there all right. So here, just kind of playing the one ball. We'll focus on making this ball. I think is the big key. The cue ball should, like, with no with no English or anything, your cue ball should come and probably almost run into that seven ball. Um, I can imagine. For my and I'm gonna speak as if, I'm um, you know more experienced players too. So I think you could use a little bit of bottom, right and let that ball squirt out more towards the center so that you're playing the two ball in the upper corner but a little bit closer to where it is than now. Okay, we're not going to be able to see the shot from here. We'll see the result. Let's see what happens. Wow, wow, very, very good shot there. All right. Higgendoss got two down. Okay, the three ball straight forward. And that's the thing about nine ball guys. The really the really the there's not a whole lot of strategy in unless you're playing at a at a higher level. Because then you have to worry about, well, I can't get out. How can I play safe and make sure that I get ball in hand with, you know, maybe a couple balls left on the table. Okay. So she missed that. That's okay. So here, um, he shouldn't hit this very hard. So essentially, you just want the cue ball to stay there for uh, the four ball. And you see how he hit it just a little bit too hard. Now, more advanced players, I'd say put a little bit of right-hand English so that the cue ball comes 
forward and through that rail as opposed to coming out to the left like it did and getting behind the eight. A little bit of right-hand English would have helped that. Just a touch. Not enough to throw. Not enough to, to miss the ball, but just to, just to like a hair. You can just like cheat to the right half of the ball there. Okay. Looks like we have ball in hand. And the same thing as the one ball. Take your time and just play the combo. I like maybe putting the cue ball back a little bit further so you don't risk the double hit. Um, but other than that, I, I like this shot. Yep, there we go. And I actually could hear it call a timeout here. Yeah, just just because you don't want to be too close and then, and then you accidentally follow through too much and, and you double kiss it. And then, you know, that just be really unfortunate. So, wish I could remember what I say. And so, for those of you watching, and you see that big thing on her finger, um, that's called a wedding ring. And no, I'm just kidding. No, the thing on her pinky is, um, is her. She he, she tore off her fingernail. And so she's keeping the fingernail held on as long as she possibly can so that it grows back fairly normal. <laughs> All right, we got the nine ball down. I want to take this time to make sure um, to just, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe. And if you find these videos of any value, please like the video. Leave a comment on, on maybe some shots that you think you would try differently than what you see here or what I'm saying. Um, I want this to be more of a conversation, not just me talking. <laughs> and of course, that is what, is what it is now. But leave some comments, and I would like to hear um, your opinion, especially from different um, skill levels. Um, people look at look at the same table and, and, and interpret it in many different ways. So I'd like to hear what you guys have to think uh, about the, these games. All right, here we're off to the second break. And boom. All right. Very nice break. I'd like to see the cue ball come back just a little bit. And so depending on how hard you hit your 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 break, you could, you know, I think for for her, she can just use, go like I'd say, cheat to the bottom half of the cue ball. So the cue ball backs up a little bit. People that have a little bit more power in the break the tendency is for that cue ball to back up already. So you actually need to use a little bit of top to get that ball to sit where it is. Um, but I think I think for her, she can just add, maybe just hit a, a, a touch below center. Here, she kind of just has to go for it. Um, I, I, think, I think you could, if you can see the bank one rail, I, I'd say try banking it back to this bottom right hand corner. I don't know if she could have enough of that. Um, but that is the that is another shot there. And that would leave you perfect by, for the two. And you might even get lucky if you missed because the ball would be down here in the bottom right, but the cue ball would be on the other side of the two ball. Okay. All right. So he makes this ball. Very nice shot. And I remember, I remember, I remember being here watching this game very carefully um i just remember looking watching this game and this guy david he he doesn't shoot very well at the beginning but then he really starts picking it up and i actually get upset at some point during this which you're not going to see here because it's already over but you're going to see like that one ball was a very good cut and you're going to start to see like you know these are twos and threes and their player starts like running out <laughs> on Hagen Das. Um, here we got a timeout here. Okay, so it looks like it doesn't go, but what I have her do is I have her the two balls just just to the inside lip, so it goes. But you have to use a little bit of inside English because you're trying to get that ball to spin um, towards the pocket. So I have her take this shot with bottom left, okay, 
okay, bottom left on the inside part of the cue ball. If she hits outside, if she hits it on the right side, it might spin into the titty and make it rattle. But this way, you're 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 trying to almost straighten out the the two ball with the spin, and she hits it absolutely perfectly. Okay. All right. So next, just cut the three ball over. Um, you, this would be a good time to to even try to bank this three ball and let the cue ball just drift up table, but bank it softly so that. Um, like you're not actually trying to bank it, but you're trying to just leave it right here in the center of this bottom rail and let the cue ball just drift up table naturally. Let's see what she does here. So I don't know if she tried for the bank or the cut. It looks like maybe she was, she, she couldn't cut it cause the nine was in the way. So she went for the bank. I do like that, but he hit that softer. And the cue ball still up table and doesn't leave him that that shot on the three ball. Okay, here we go. That's okay. Okay, on this shot, I I can see a couple things. You're just banking the four ball. Okay, just trying to make it, or you can even thin the four ball. Just not not like thin it. But almost like you're trying to bank it to the side pocket and let the cue ball drift over to the left behind the seven. Even if it's not perfect, your four ball is still going to be up here at the table because you have to hit it firm enough to get the, you know, to get the cue ball up there. But because you could, you could essentially, you have kind of a wall by the seven, five, and nine that she's blocking right now. Oh, looks like she went for the cut. That's okay. So here, guys, I, you know, again, these are these are twos and threes. So I don't expect them really to use a lot of English. But if you if you're going to use more English, um, I, I could imagine using a little bit of high right, so that that cue ball comes straight up the table and it's on the other side of the five ball. Okay. Oh, I didn't even know that the five went by. Uh, that changes things too, but still, I mean, I still like the shot a little bit better. Because this way you don't have to run into the 7 on accident. Okay, guys, again, this is where I start noticing, like, that I, th I, think, he's, I think he's holding back a little bit in this league. Um... He just ran out that rack and, and, and made it look easy. And again, he's a three. So, but it was a great run out. Um, he could have, you know, in, in terms of, 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 I guess, being more uh perfect and accurate i think he could have drew back the seven a little bit more so he's a little bit straighter on the eight he had a tough angle on the eight ball but he still cut it in you know he did just fine um but yeah i think i think just drawing it back a little bit more gives him straighter shot on the eight and then you would play the nine in the opposite corner all right let's see how this break works for him Very nice. All right, here we go. He's got a shot on the one ball. And again, for him too, I, I think maybe just a little bit of bottom. He's not ultimately hitting the break that hard. And so that cue ball is just going right forward, right through everything. So, and maybe not even bottom, maybe just lower than where he's hitting it. Okay, one eight combination here. Another another thing to do here would actually be to to thin the one ball on the right hand side that we are looking at the right hand side, and then the cue ball 
drift underneath the nine, the three, and the six, and and trying to leave the cue ball on the other side of the table, like almost where the six ball is now, and that one ball just kind of where it is now. It would have just banked out just a little bit, and the cue ball could have went around the table and ended about about, about where the six is. See how he shoots this? Wow, hits that great. Can't tell if he has enough to make it. It doesn't look like it, guys. Um, let's see what he does. <laughs> I guess he could make it like that. <laughs> Oh, he's got a little smile too. Honey. It's funny. I'm never a big fan of of kind of spraying and praying. I, I'm not a big fan of that. I think there's always a shot, even if you don't know what it is. I think there always is a shot. You just gotta learn what it is. And and from this angle, it's hard to tell what he what he could see, what he couldn't see. But he could roll. Looking at where he hit it, he could have rolled the three ball to the rail and left the cue ball. Behind the seven, possibly. All right. Got the seven ball. And again, guys, this is a this is a three playing. This is where I started to have my issues and you know, everybody has the same story. It's like the like the old hustler story, you know, like oh, I don't really play that good. I just I get lucky sometimes, you know. Or I have my on and off days. It, it's Yeah. And then fires in the bank on the nine. <laughs> nice out, nice out. I, I can't I can't hate on the fact that he ran out, but yeah. I just, I, I question his skill level. That's all. All right, we're on to the next rack. Hmm. Let's see what this next rack brings. Okay. Maybe I should... Figure out a way to put the score on here so we can we can keep track of it. I wonder if there's a way to do that. I'm I'm gonna look into doing that for nine ball. Oh, my face got in the way. <laughs> All right. So the good thing. I, I I can say about his break, he he's, he seems to have it, have it down. Where he's, he always seems to pocket a ball. I mean that's really the ultimate goal. The cue ball came out really nicely here, right in the center of the table, so it kind of doesn't matter where the one ball is. But he has a good shot on the one ball. Let's see what he does. Yep, very nice shot. Okay, I think he just rushed out a little bit. Um, didn't hurt himself too much, I guess. You know, he's he's hooked. He's hooked her pretty good. Um, I I don't know if she re she remembers, but for everybody watching, what you can do when you when you need to kick something like this. Um, I think two rails, the more rails, the better, the easier, more room for error. Um, and so usually what I like to do, if that, that five ball might be in the way a little bit for a, two, a good two rail kick, but what I like to do is you find the midpoint between the cue ball and the three ball and aim it right at the corner pocket. Okay. And when you find that midpoint, you, you aim it right at the corner pocket and you saw how she did it. Okay just depends on which way you're going if you know if you're going to kick that direction then you point it at that pocket you know and and so from there you draw a parallel line from that line of the midpoint to the pocket 
you draw a parallel line from there to the cue ball. Uh, not, you know, from the cue ball to the, the long rail. So you're, you're drawing two parallel lines, and essentially that's your 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 aim for for two rails. All right, three ball down, four ball down. All right, that's okay. It's the five ball. That was a really tough shot. I mean, he's jacked up over the seven ball, got some distance, and actually has a really thin cut to hit there. Um, you know, and for that reason, you could also, I could, you know, from there, you could argue um, for for their skill level taking, um, taking the bank shot there. You know, um, I think. Because that way you know you're going to get a full solid hit. Sometimes when people are jacked up, they, they tend to miscue. Or um, the ball tends to masse a little bit, you know, just to kind of, just to make sure that you get a square hit, you know. Might have been easier to take even the bank shot there. Um, you might end up leaving your opponent something to shoot at. Um, but, I mean, you see right there, even there, you, you left your opponent... Um, a reasonable shot. Not an easy shot, but a, a shot to shoot. All right. It's unfortunate she missed. Let's see what he does here. Yeah, he played a, played a decent save. Okay, so this is this would be the perfect thing to explain. So midpoint between the five and the cue ball, aimed right at the lower left-hand corner, parallel line to that from the cue ball, and then you shoot. That'll give you your two rail. And two rail from here is actually easier to hit and make. It's actually, you're going to have a wider spot on this on this bottom rail closest to us to hit. You can hit pretty much maybe from the center diamond all the way in, and you're going to hit the five ball. So you have a bigger target to hit off the first rail if you use two rails. All right. All right. Okay, so he missed. Well, he made the six ball, which is a really, really good shot. That's a hard shot that he just made. Um, got unlucky and uh, and follow and the cue ball scratched. Let's see what she does here. I think here it just. Stop, roll, and see what you get left with the nine ball. Just put the cue ball. You can even angle it just slightly to the away. So that when, if your cue ball does move backwards, it doesn't move towards the eight. The last thing you want is that cue ball to be right on top of the eight when you're shooting. So you just give it like the slightest, slightest angle so that if it does back up, it backs up towards the top right, just in case. I don't want her to draw it, and you see what happens. See how it moved a little bit. If it's if it's angled the other way in the slightest, and it draws back, then you're even closer to the eight than you want. So I gave that slight angle, so it moved away, and and opened up the angle for the eight as it made it as opposed to making it harder okay just roll this in really focus on just making the ball here oh no it's unfortunate it's okay though but you see just roll it in look where the cue ball is even even though the angle would have been a little bit different if you would have made it that's about where the shot would have been, even if she would have made it. Okay, it might have been a little bit lower, closer to us. But it would have been about there. Okay. So there is, I think I have her go for it. I think I have her try a bank here. I remember calling the timeout. Um, there is there is a, a, a safety here for, for my higher players. Um, is it? If you hit, 
on the right side of the eight ball. Very, very thin. Okay? Thin enough that a lot of the energy, like the eight ball barely moves like to the center diamond. And if you can hit it with a good speed, that eight ball will go to the center diamond. And then the cue ball will go, for the most part, all the way up the table because you're hitting it so so thin all the energy stays in the um all the energy stays in the cue ball so then what happens is the cue ball goes up table and the eight ball just travels maybe a diamond maybe a diamond and a half and and the cue ball you might even get the cue ball behind the nine ball and they might not even be able to see the eight ball okay looks like he's calling it he doesn't need to but <laughs> It's gonna try the upper upper left. Okay. Left her a shot. Not a not an easy shot. She's gonna be stretched out over the table and not only that, but this is pretty steep. So what I like to do when it's pretty steep is actually um for my lower players I think I, I'd want them just cheating to the the, like the outside half of the ball so like from this side be the left and what that does is it helps throw that object ball towards the pocket and so you can actually almost undercut it a little bit but because of the spin and the contact throw it it um oh no um it it helps it into the pocket she missed it it was it was a very tough shot it's very steep okay um he made that Oh, looks like he's going over to shake her hand, so that looks like it's it. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you haven't done so already, please make sure you subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know, like, the timestamp, too, like, what, what you might have done differently, okay? And uh, I'll see you guys next video.